squirrels, raspberries, and trees. That is what you usually expect from a forest like this. However, what if I told you there is a really dark secret just down this path? Let's check it out. But first of all, what are those? <laughs> These guys look funny, just please don't bite my ankles. I would appreciate that. Goodbye. So this forest trail leads from Nova Dina to a really beautiful overlook. And besides the dark secret that we're gonna run into very soon, there is a couple of more interesting places that I'm gonna show you. And again, these guys just besides the road. Didn't realize that Mushroom Head had a concert here, but hey, you never know. So this, this is the very first interesting landmark over here. It's called the Black Cross and it's because, you know, the Jesus was made with black metals, black materials, not entirely sure what it actually is, but I believe that this cross was actually, I have it written down because I have this calculia, so there you go, 1762. However, that was the old cross, the new one was built in 1924, so let's explore a little bit and maybe we'll find some interesting things, okay. Right here, you can maybe see a little bit 1820 something, 1999 right here. It's a really nice place and it's just really rare to see, you know, a cross like this because usually they are made of stone. Okay, right here we have 1924. And you know, usually these crosses are entirely made out of stone or steel, so a wooden one and a big one like this is very rare. You know, it's just a really nice spiritual place. So if you're into that kind of stuff, this is definitely a must go to. Now, I will include a map where you can visit this trail for yourself and see everything for yourself. But the best part or the worst part is still in front of us. So there is a couple of buildings that seem abandoned, but there are like new trees all around this place. So it gets me really thinking if it's abandoned, but I really feel like I want to check that out. I'm not entirely sure if you can see that through the window, but there's just some chairs, table, nothing else. There's just a lot of trash in this other big barn or whatever that is. Yeah, some paintings on the wall, but that's it. Seems, you know, not that decrepit, but still. Oh, but this one is interesting. There is like a big, you know, hole in this, whatever this is. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it's really freaking scary and I don't know where that leads, but it looks really ominous. And there is even more trash and trash. And it's locked. So, yep, time to get out of here. 
So my guess is that this is like a building or a set of buildings that the forest warrants used to use in the past but now it's just here rotting away and doesn't really serve any purpose maybe like a storage but again there's just trash and nothing else so let's move on to something more interesting. God damn it, where is Kate Bush? When I need her, she said running up that hill. But god damn it, I can barely walk. <laughs> All right, it seems like we are here. Now you can see where you can go from here green means it's for the green horse like me and then the yellow one is a little bit more advanced and there's a red one which is yeah can be quite hardcore this tree is ominous for more than just the visual reason now you might see right here umrazika this has a reason because right here if we go right here you can see there's a little memorial place Merazik Karel and LP means Leta Pane in Czech, which is Anu Domini in uh, Latin. And Karel Mrazík was killed in 1870. And the way he was killed, well, that's, that's the problem. So he was a forest warden, you know, watching over the forests. But the poachers got to him. He probably saw them doing some, you know, illegal hunting. And they took him and they strapped him by his feet, you know, turned him upside down and they shoved his head into an ant's nest and let him be consumed by the ants alive. And this, this is the exact tree that he was hung from. Honestly, this type of death is very high on my how not to die like ever list. So yeah, talk about gruesome. Also, I just noticed who the hell leaves trash here? God damn it. People, you're in nature. Behave. So you might think that that's the end of the trail, but that is actually not the end. The ending is actually way more wholesome than this, so I'm just gonna get a move on and I'll show you guys in a bit. And also it's Tuesday like 5 p.m. and there's like almost no one here, it's very relaxing. So if you want to take your family on a little trip and you don't want to go on too many steep hills, this is definitely the one to try, just you know, don't try those ends, would not recommend. We've got all the donations. Oh well, donations gone. Well, that is like a huge, huge quarry. Never been here. Only know that it's here, but I'm seeing this for the first time. And oh boy, it is glorious. So I came from there and this road goes from Žlutavi, the village. You can go from there by car right there to the overlook but you cannot go there so yeah keep that in mind in case you'll ever get here oh you gotta be kidding me is it really that hard
Well, that marks the end of our little trip. So I hope you guys did enjoy this little video. Let me know in the comments if you want to maybe know more about these places that I visited. And I'll do my best to, you know, explain everything and the location of this place. Uh, I already put it in the video, but I'm also going to put it uh, in the description below so you can find it on Google Maps. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you made it here, thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Cheers.